A talk about prestigious, the NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame. And this weekend, Jacksonville has two incredible athletes being inducted, Leroy Butler and Tony Baselli. This Saturday night in Canton, Ohio, they will get that prestigious gold jacket and join the best of the best NFL football players. Of course, that already includes Reigns High School graduate Brian Dawkins, who played for the Eagles. But let's focus now on Tony Baselli, the first Jaguar ever to get into the Hall of Fame. And tonight, a big box that came to him in the mail. I had a good time talking to his wife and five children. And right now, this story we're going to tell you is not just about that one big box. It's actually about two boxes, a small box and the big one. Let's start with Tony's son, Andrew, played football himself at FSU. And the big box? I took a video of him opening it. Oh, you do have yeah. it? Can you share it with yeah. us? Is that little? Okay. Tony got the box from the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Got a little package from Canton, Ohio. So he got to figure he out. knows what's been mailed to him. Jacket. And there it is. <laughs> oh. Pretty cool. The famous gold jacket of the Pro Football Hall of Fame in advance to make sure it fits. You're a football guy, so yep. what was so good about your dad? Uh, I think what really, really separated him was his mentality. He was just, he was relentless. He would not give up an inch. A guy could be quicker, then he would just go stronger. A guy could be stronger, then he would go quicker. Now to the small box. When you first saw him, when was he in his football him. uniform? No, in a toga. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. Angie, a cheerleader at the University of Southern California, and Tony, first team All-American at USC. They met at a Greek party. He was not shy. No, 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 <laughs> no, not at all. Seems Angie was dating somebody else. You need to break up with your boyfriend. What are you doing with that guy? <laughs> we should go out, we should go out. And finally, they did. And then eventually, one night, they had this fancy dinner all planned out. Angie dressed up, but Tony. When I showed up, he was playing Xbox with a bunch of guys in like sweats. But it was all a trick. I, I had no idea. To walk the beach and propose to her. And all of a sudden he whipped the box out and I was like, oh, this is it, oh my gosh. And he didn't even open the box, he didn't. I was like, yes, yes, yes. And now after 27 years of marriage. I just love him so, so, so much. And back now to that big box with the gold jacket. What a joy, what a ride, what a thrill. Angie says, yeah, of course, they are excited, but they're grateful that everybody around the First Coast can join in and celebrate. Jacksonville is going to Canton. 904 Duval, this isn't for us, it's like for all of us. That's great. NBC's coverage of the Hall of Fame game immediately follows our special with the kickoff shortly after 8 o'clock tonight, and that also airs on NBC 12. It's going to be quite the night.